So this video is going to cover um, the last piece of how to use this Sony A37. Um, before we look at the ISO settings, um, which are probably best kept fairly low, maybe around 800, 1600 kind of at most, uh, to control your brightness. Uh, another way to control your brightness is by using this little button around here at the front, in front of the on off switch, the little dial. This is the different F stops of the camera, which can be moved up and down. Now, doing that allows you to adjust, uh, I think, how wide the aperture is. So that is now giving me, although it's probably fairly blurry for you, a pretty decent image here in terms of the colour reproduction. So the whole point of getting a DSLR camera though is to uh, be able to get really cinematic looking focus and depth of field, which we can do using the lens. So if you take a look at the lens from the side, this is the uh, smaller of the two lenses, which is more suitable for working with subjects that are closer to you, uh, usually indoors. Um, so what you've got here is your ability to pull in and out of the image. Okay, so it's kind of like the uh, telephoto and wide settings, T and W, on a normal camcorder. That's you moving in, that's you moving out. With either of these, you can also then adjust the top ring on the lens, which is the focus. So if I move in on the teddy bear here, I can then bring the teddy bear out of focus and the background into focus. Or if I adjust it slightly, I can do the opposite and bring the teddy bear into focus and the background out of focus, giving me a really nice cinematic look. And the key thing is, if you've pressed the movie button here, you can actually do this as you're recording. You can adjust the focus live in the picture. Uh, it's important to note, if you come around the other side, that uh, all of this will only work on the camera if both of these settings on the, both the lens here and the camera itself are set to manual focus to allow you to manually control this. Uh, there are ways to get it to like automatically track subjects and what have you, but you may be best for normal setups to go with manual focus and control all these different elements yourself and to give you the most professional look.